Welcome to this video on HTML tables, part one. In this video, you're going to learn about three things. You're going to learn about the table tag. You're going to learn about the TR tag or the table row tag. And lastly, you're going to learn about the TD tag or the table data tag. Okay, so let's dive right in. And by now, I'm hoping that you read the chapter in your textbook on tables because I highly suggest that you do that do that before you watch this video so let's dive right in okay so I'm uh, in a uh, HTML uh, file here an HTML document and I'm gonna create the table tag right there is the table tag on line number seven and I'm gonna create the closing table tag okay now if you save this and you preview it in a browser, right? You're going to see absolutely nothing, right? You're if you right click and do view page source, you're going to see just that, right? Just the same markup that we have here. We have nothing in our table at this time, okay? So I am going to close Chrome and go back here, and now I'm going to place in between the opening and closing table tags, something known as a table row tag or a TR tag, okay? In fact, I'm gonna open one, which I just did, and I'm gonna put the closing TR tag, okay? Now, inside of a table row, you can have what are called uh, table data cells. Okay, these are cells or boxes that can contain images, other HTML, uh, just about anything. So let's not get too concerned about that right now, but let's start by putting a single TD tag with a closing TD tag, and inside of that cell, okay, in this row on line number eight, we are going to put, uh, let's just put in here, uh, row one, column one, okay? Row one, column one. Let's save that for a second, and let's open the browser. And now you can see here, we have some text on the screen. Doesn't look like much at this time, but to, to give you a start, uh, to see what's going on here, I am going to add an attribute, which can also be added in CSS, but we'll get to that. Um, and let's call it border equals one. Okay, just, just, just for now. Okay, here we go. Open in browser, and now you can see that this table has one row and one column. Okay, of data. For those of you who may have played Battleship right you know that battleship has you know rows and columns for you to guess a row and column that your opponent's battleship is on right so um same type of thing so right now i'm going to add a second td a second table data tag and a closing td tag and now i'm going to put we're still on row one and now i'm going to add column two row one column two i'm just going to open this up in my browser now and now you can see my table has grown i have on row one i have row one column one this is column one and row one column two okay let's uh let's add one more cell just one more cell here td and a closing td and let's add in here row one column three okay row one column three i'll go back to chrome i'll refresh and you can see that our table is growing in width right we have one row and three columns okay pretty cool right so let's take that row i'm taking the line eight there that that row in the in, in that line in my file and i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it right there and I'm going to make all these row ones row two now, right? Row two. And, oh, I spelled the stuff wrong. Uh, why don't you tell me? Why didn't anyone tell me that I made a typo there? This is row two, right? Row two, column three. Okay. 
So let's refresh. And now you can see I have row 1 and row 2. Okay, so pretty neat, right? Now, let me add one more row here. One more row. I gotta fix that typo over here. Row 3 and row 3 and row 3. But just to show you something here, I am going to replace row 3, column 1 on line number 10. Okay, I'm going to replace that. I'm going to put a P tag in there, a paragraph tag. And I'm going to put what we call lorem ipsum, or some filler text in there. And there it is. Okay, I I'm going to warn you that uh, table markup can get really messy. So just know that it's not you, right? It's the fact that it's a lot of nested tags within one another, okay? So I'm going to refresh here. Whoa, look what happened. You see how the table blew out here, the, especially column one? This is that lorem ipsum text here I had in column one. And notice how the width of the table grew to accommodate that, okay? Now, just to show you one more thing. If I put, say, an H2 tag in here, an H2 tags, and I'll put in here just uh, phony text, uh, fake text, okay, fake text. I'm on line number 10. I just stuck inside of that first TD. I stuck an H2 with uh, some fake text and a closing H2. And if I go back here, you can see, right, now I have an H2 inside of there. Okay, you could do the same thing with images or any other type of HTML. Okay, so what about this um, this border equals one thing, right? Um, Bruce always says, you know, use CSS to style your table. Okay, so let's remove that attribute called border and the value one, and let's let's marry it up with a style sheet here. I think I have, oh, no, I thought I had it. Let me do this. Uh, link href equals, let's call it table.css, and its relation to this is a style sheet. And I'll close the tag there. And I'll go into my table.css, which I prepared before I recorded this video. And let's just put in table. Now, just know the styling we're doing here since we're putting this this uh, tag right here, right, table, right, this element name, this element type table here, it's going to apply to all tables, okay, all tables and uh, on your page. And you can have more than one table on an HTML page, but we'll talk about that kind of stuff in another video. So border, right, let's do uh, one pixel solid black. Okay, or actually, let's just use pound uh, hash sign one two three four five six. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's refresh, and now you can see my table has a border, right? But right, the TDs don't seem to have a border. So what can we do there? Could we put TD here, and could we put the same thing border? One pixel solid black. One, two, three, four, five, six. Could we do that? What do you think? Hey, look at that. So notice, notice how we have this kind of double border thing going on here. And we'll talk about this kind of stuff and how to get a nice solid line around your TDs and uh, other table elements in another video, okay? So as a quick review, Right, we learned about the table tag. Okay, it has a corresponding closing uh, tag. Okay, we have table rows, and inside table rows, we learned about TDs or table data, and inside of those, right, a row can contain right multiple t sets of opening TD tags and closing TD tags, right? And um, yeah, and that's how, that's how you create table rows with table data in them. And I know someone's saying, hey, Bruce, what happens when you, let's just do this here. Let's add a fourth row. I'm on line 12. And if I do a table row and a closing table row, and what happens if you just put one TD here, right? The all, ones above it 
right, had three columns. But what happens here if I just put some more fake text and I save it and I go back to the browser and I go back to the browser, what happens, right? What happens? You see right here? Let me make the window larger here. You see what happens? We do have that first column here and we don't have any TDs defined here. Okay, you see this right over here in the lower right? Okay, down here where my mouse is moving horizontally. Okay, so you don't have to have equal amounts of TDs, right, in each row. That's up to you in the way you need to display data. Okay, so just know there's a lot more to cover on tables, but I wanted to uh, get you all started by showing this example.